Hello, Ray Phoenix here. This is a slideshow about art I made about Tammy Newborn. Tammy Newborn really fascinates me, mostly because he picks on people on YouTube and other sites on the internet, all because of four kids, people that mock four kids. I personally like four kids, and I'm actually quite fascinated by Tammy Newborn because he does like that. So much in fact that I made art of him. I'm also intrigued by the fact that there that very few people seem to know who he is. This is the first piece that I made of him. Where Tammy Newborn sees, he's wearing a shirt that says four kids rules. He's ill and bonkers, shows up and he arrests Tammy Newborn and tells him that four kids is actually for idiots. He says, shut up, bonkers. I'd love to see Officer Bonkers D. Bobcat arrest Tammy Newborn. Come on, don't we all want to see that? Up next here I thought, what if Tammy Newborn had telekinetic powers? And what if Professor Xavier from X-Men mocked four kids? Tammy Newborn would probably use his telekinetic powers and he make Professor Xavier explode into a bunch of particles, as you can see in this shot here. And Professor Xavier still happily smiling, yeah, sure, I'm being ripped apart, yeah, I'm being torn apart, but oh, everything's still good, yeah, it's all still good, yeah, I'm sure I'm being torn apart, but yeah, it's all still good. It kind of makes Tammy Newborn having a katana sword kind of redundant. I drew Tammy Newborn like that because he looks more like a like a villain from an anime, which is which is, we all know is what he's obsessed with. This next one, George Ferrier, the news reporter from a bunch of cartoons that I write about, is interviewing Tammy Newborn. He says, so Tammy Newborn, what do you think of four kids? He says, four kids is, his greatest, is the greatest thing in history, and anyone that says anything else should censor for TV. Cause, you know, Tammy Newborn is quite vulgar, and he's going to say a bunch of swear words, a bunch of bad stuff that are not allowed to air on TV. And this next one... Obi-Wan is angry at Tammy Newborn because Tammy Newborn made his friend Professor Xavier explode into particles. So now Obi-Wan's going to fight Tammy Newborn. Obi-Wan's obviously going to win because Obi-Wan has a lightsaber and Tammy Newborn has a crappy anime katana sword. I'm pretty sure a lightsaber could cut through a katana sword easy. He could total Tammy Newborn easy. Plus he's a masterful um, fighter, like a masterful lightsaber duelist, which Tammy Newborn, not sure how good Tammy Newborn is with swords, so... Yeah, we'll be one and probably beat Tammy Newborn at that. Up next, I thought, I don't get my flagship character, my 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 main like my main mascot, I guess you call him that, my biggest, most important character, and most famous character in DeviantArt, Larry the Robot, to fight Tammy Newborn. This one I drew Tammy Newborn more like he's Darth Vader instead of that computer thing being on Darth Vader's chest that says four kids on it. But he still looks more like an anime kind of villain, like an anime inspired villain. And he has to fight Larry the Robot. Who would you root for? Of course, I'd root for Larry the Robot. He's Larry the Robot, and Tammy Newborn's just that's some jerk in this cartoon they appears in, but I don't know. But what do you think? I don't know. This next one is showing that Lily, some cutesy little girl, is able to kick the crap out of Tammy Newborn. That's probably because Lily actually practices fighting a lot of the time, even though she's a cutesy little girl. And Tammy Newborn stays in his parents his basement all day long. He never sees the light of day. He just stays in there and goes on his computer all day long. That was considered a curse back in ancient times. You know, like when Aladdin went into the Cave of Wonders and then they said you'll never again see the light of day. For Tammy Newborn, that wouldn't really be much a problem. Let's give him a computer and internet and he'd be good for eternity. And this one, Isaac and Way on two of my characters I created have to fight Tammy Newborn. Isaac takes out a katana sword and he cuts Tammy Newborn's head off, only to realize it wasn't really Tammy Newborn, it was just a plush toy. He even says, I never would have guessed he was a plush toy, some big Tammy Tron, some big robot of Tammy Newborn. It was actually a fake of him, it wasn't the real Tammy Newborn, it was a fake, an imposter. In this one, the Avengers, Captain America and Iron Man have to go after Tammy Newborn. Tammy Newborn is causing such a problem over YouTube and such a problem over the internet that Iron Man and Captain America forgot why they were fighting each other in Captain America's Civil War. So they team up again together and they go to fight Tammy Newborn. In this one, Major Glory teaches Tammy from Dexter's Laboratory, the Justice Friends, uh, gives Tammy Newborn a lesson here. You don't diss anyone that disses people for dissing the Saw Spangled Banner. Because I first heard of Tammy Newborn, because that's a comment that joked about four kids singing the national anthem. And then he got to where he started to get angry at me on, on YouTube. So now I thought, why don't, why don't make Major Glory go after him? Because Tammy Newborn's very un-American. So maybe Tam and Major Glory needs to teach him a lesson about how to become more American. And this one, Spider Plant Man ties up Tammy Newborn, defeats Tammy Newborn. Spider Plant Man's a parody of Spider-Man. He would first, he appeared in a, in a parody of Spider-Man. It was on a 
what was it? Oh yeah, he appeared on BBC on, on Red Nose Day in 2005 on BBC, where he was a superhero played by Rowan Atkinson. This short parody is the 2002 Spider-Man movie. If you're interested in seeing this, it's on YouTube. Go look it up. Spider Plant Man. It's really funny. It's played by Rowan Atkinson. If you like Mr. Bean, you'd probably like this. This next one, I thought... Spider Plant Man. I should team up with a superhero that's really good, but doesn't get as much attention. Kind of like... Spider Plant Man. So I thought, why don't I make him team up with Daredevil? So in this story, as you can see here, Spider Plant Man and Daredevil are have teamed up so they could defeat Tammy Newborn. And see, Tammy Newborn realizes that he's doomed, so he's like a uh, four kids stubs. Anyone? You guys like four kids stubs? You can see they both look angry at him, both looking down at him. Tammy Newborn knows that he's finished here. As you can see, because Mika's Daredevil and Spider Plant Man have him surrounded. But then, in this other one I came with, I fought. Thanos, spoiler alert for Avengers Infinity War, Thanos snapped his fingers which caused everyone to turn into dust because he had Infinity Gauntlet, on but what if that wasn't really Thanos at all? What if Thanos removed his mask revealing he's actually Tammy Newborn? The real reason why he hates the Avengers because the Avengers told him that four kids sucked, so he used his powers and he made all the Avengers disappear into dust. But however, as we saw if you remember that movie, Spider Plant Man didn't get turned into dust, nor did Daredevil. They're still around, they haven't been turned to dust yet. So now this is how it's going to conclude. Thanos, which is really Tammy Newborn, is a real, Tammy Newborn's a real mastermind behind all that Infinity War stuff. And now Spider Plant Man and Daredevil have to defeat him. And this one, Bub from Bubble Bobble, in case it's Tammy Newborn in a bubble. Because one of the, because you have to, because Tammy Newborn left a comment on my Bubble Bobble video saying he was going to Bubble Bobble me. So I thought, wouldn't it be funny if he actually got Bubble Bobbled? As you can see here, that's what happened. Bub is in case I'm in a bubble. In this one, Doctor Strange punishes Tammy Newborn by sending him into another dimension where where everyone hates four kids and no one gives a crap about anything he likes and he actually will get, I don't know what will happen. There may be it's like Siberia or some icy dungeon or some place like that or some place, I don't know. There's a lot of, just thought this is an endless amount of universe and dimensions as we all know from watching or reading Doctor Strange. And that concludes this show. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Ray Phoenix signing out.